Hey guys, welcome back to another Juicy React. Sorry, I always start the videos like jumping in from the side of the screen, from one, <laughs> but it's because I turn the camera on to record. Lucy's job is to press record. All right, today we have an interesting video. This is something we've actually wondered ourselves as we go around the Philippines yes. and um, Why did you take that out of your ear? Because I'm not ready to watch the video, I'm introducing the video. As we go around the Philippines, we wonder, because obviously people speak English to us. Yes. We wonder how often they speak English to each other. Because everyone's really yeah, good at true. speaking English, so they must, must be a certain a degree of how often they speak it mm -hmm. to practice, to be that good. Definitely. So we're going to dive straight in. This is a video from oncub.ph, well, YouTube channel. Well, it's got a lot of views compared to, how many subscribers do they have? Compared to their subscribers, they've got yeah. a lot of views on this video. 1.4 million views. Um, if you've got any other videos that you want us to react to, then make sure you follow us on Instagram at LucyLagostino underscore. Actually, we won't put it here because I can't be bothered to edit it in. It will be in a link below this video because then you can click straight onto it and at George Warrington UK. Send us yes. any messages with um, links or names of videos you want us to react to and we'll get on it. Definitely. That's Please give us a follow it. over on Instagram as well. Yes. All right, are you ready? How often do Filipinos speak in English? Three, two, one. Okay, so they went out on the streets, asking people on the streets. <laughs> shy. <laughs> shy. Everyone's shy. Okay. Okay. Hi. Yeah, hi. Every day. Every day. Four times a week. Four times a week. Scheduled in. Yeah. Very often. Probably daily. I think we speak every day. <laughs> she needs to um, learn to speak English uh -huh. at a very young age. Uh -huh, right. So that's why we try to speak I'm hungry now. In English as well. We talk to a lot of people in English. When the teacher asks me in English, and then I answer English. In class, the medium of instruction is usually English. Mm. That's why when our teachers teach us, they speak in English. Let's say you learn mathematics or like uh, science. So you learn it yeah, in a friend. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes okay. when you answer our classmates, especially those who are foreigners, we also speak in English. A lot of Koreans come to the Philippines to learn English. Do you know that? Yes, I know that. What do oh, you think? I didn't know Why that. do they come to the Philippines? Um, because I think the education here is cheaper. Here, very cheap. Uh, food, uh, community, very cheap. And uh, a lot of teachers are <laughs> here in the Philippines. A lot of Filipinos can speak English well, and many Filipinos work in call center, right? How did they learn English? Uh, through uh, school, uh, in school. In school, in school, isn't it? Taught English yeah. from school. a young age. We have yeah. uh, English subject up to high school. And, uh, yeah, during the class, we are required to speak in English. And so it's just like a matter of practice. Uh, school that does the most and like television and stuff because my parents were more into English television and what they let us watch is more or less like the English ones instead of the Filipino ones. We also read books, English books, yes. She's holding a book in her hand. <laughs> just bought a book. Whenever I read books, I just remember some words or you know the grammar. Why? It's bad timing for an interview. Eat yeah, I know. Yeah, most uh, people in Asia. Maybe because the Tagalog language is a bit close to the English language. The letters used are the same. The Philippines That's is true. a multicultural mm. country. A lot of uh, foreigners visit here and sometimes we are forced to learn English so that we'll be able to communicate with them. Like, even though it's not our first language, it's still technically the first language because even when you're just still young, like you're already exposed to the language. Because like that's what the... Um, that's what is normally used here in the Philippines. Um, maybe that's our advantage. Because uh, I think um, we all practice here. It is a must for us to learn English, I guess. For us to be competitive. Most of the subjects mm. in school are taught in English. That's why we're, we're like fluent in, in English. I have to say like 90, more than 95% of people in the Philippines can speak English. At least basic or even more than. It, um, it's not a perfect grammar, but yeah. they can understand and they yeah. can speak. As long as they want, uh, they can relay the message. Then, well, that's fine. Mm. A lot of Koreans spend a lot of time and money learning English in Korea 
But then, after all, they can't really speak English well. They can't even listen to English. Sounds like me taking French class. Uh, what's yeah. the problem? <laughs> in Korea and English, the letters used are different. Maybe that's why it's a bit difficult. Mm. Maybe just the drive to learn. I think uh, it's, it, it depends on someone's personality. If you don't want to learn, then... That is true. Yeah. I wasn't that not interested in it. school. Yeah, exactly. You want to know how to I didn't find it easier yeah. than that. I like some of it. Someone's drive, I guess. What could be one solution for Koreans to be fluent in? Watch movies, mm. English movies without any subtitle, as much as possible, yeah. And, um, <laughs> well, when you're with your friends, just speak English or communicate in English more than in Korean. I think they should start also reading English books. It will help them understand and, you know, practice the uh, language. Mm. I think... It's easier if you actually listen to other people is, uh, talking English if you watch other people talking English rather than just reading a book because if you just read the book yes you can understand the grammar you can understand how you say the word how you um, like how you write them or whatever but like if you listen to it you can actually understand the language as like how they pronounce each word yeah. how they pronounce each letter and stuff like that That's true but you should learn the basic stuff first as you grow more in knowledge you should learn the different kinds of um, terms that other people use because in some countries there are English terms that they use that we don't know so you should also be able to communicate better it was totally unexpected how old are you? 15 <laughs> oh she looks older 15? wow how about you guys? <laughs> same age same age wow you guys speak English so well oh so that's yeah I guess Amazing. Are you a high school student? Yes. Wow. <laughs> this is, this is the, the, the level of English in the first. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Aww. Aww. Thank you. Aww. Polite. How old are you? Seven. Seven. Uh, what subject do you like? English. <laughs> Cool. So sweet. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I feel like in terms of learning a new language, you must need to know quite a lot of it to be able to then watch films and shows about it. Otherwise, you don't know what's going on. Yeah, like, but I guess once it you have you into the it. basics, you can yeah. consume that yeah. content with True. English language. And imagine reading a book in a language you don't understand fully. That must be so yeah, difficult. Yeah, I've said it before. I, I admire anyone yeah. who has learned a second language. Me too. Crazy. We all, but we have friends in the Philippines who have kids and they say that some of the kids are better at English than their own language. Yeah and they definitely learn it in school from a young age. Well, if you're taught every lesson in it, mm -hmm. then course, You're gonna learn it you're if you're young. It. It's a good way to do it. Really cool. I think for us growing up, like English was what was spoken, obviously, and like all your subjects would be taught in English, yeah. unless it was a language subject, unless you were learning, like you had a French lesson or a Spanish lesson or a German lesson. Mm -hmm. So it was more like on the outside, but when it's actually properly- And it's only once a week for an yeah. hour. And when it's properly like integrated in and you're having to learn other things other than the language, so like maths and science in the language, yep. then you're gonna be like forced into learning. And I think it's a really good thing, because like they said, it makes you more equipped, like having two languages for employment and like being able to understand other people, like it's really cool. Mm -hmm. So like George said, fair play Definitely. to There's anyone. <laughs> who learns a language. Yeah. Thank you for finishing my Sorry, <laughs> there's a comment here that says, Filipinos are very fluent in English, especially when they are drunk. Oh yeah, we said about this the other day in a video. Yeah. We can totally agree with that. We did. Oh yeah, we told that story. Yeah, of where yeah, yeah. We were we hanging out with some Filipinos and their English wasn't amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, this was in Baguio. And yeah, we told the story before, but basically we had a couple of red horse and then they were like singing in English, chatting to us in English. All the shyness dropped off completely. Um, me being a Filipino, when you know the answer, but you need to speak in English, I've a lot of thoughts in my mind, but can't speak directly. That's me. So there is still, I guess, a shyness. So people yeah. know they can do it. Yeah. But they're a little bit too shy. Yeah, we've noticed that shy. a little bit, haven't we? Because yeah. like sometimes we'll be having a conversation, and then they'll like, I don't know. I, I like to like, help people if they're not thinking yeah. of a word, kind of help them along a bit. But they're always really great. You also don't want to interrupt. No, them. exactly. And I totally understand it because I, I would be so shy if I was trying to speak 
a language to a native speaker of yeah, that language. Yeah, me too. You just would be scared to mess up and get it wrong. But yeah. it's always cool to try. Really, really awesome. Definitely. Cool. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram. And we'll see you in the next. Oh, 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 oh. And subscribe to the Juicy Vlog, which is our yes. daily vlogging channel. Daily, daily vlogging quarantine in this apartment. Um, and that's probably in why Manila. we've got time to do so many reaction videos at the moment as well, because obviously we're locked inside. Very true. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.